you're about to experience the newest fitness craze on the market because today we're going to mermaid school. So we're gonna learn to swim in a real mermaid tail. Basically we learned the dolphin kick move and then we go ahead and swim with the tail. We learn some tricks, play some games and it's all a lot of fun. What advice do you have for me as a first time mermaid? It's all about having fun. Like you might not catch on immediately, but just give it a go. So this is a monofin. This is what helps us propel through the water. And the fabric part is mostly just for decoration and fun. So what we're gonna do is the main mermaid move, which is called the dolphin kick. So it's a wave-like motion with our body. It's the same as we use for a butterfly swim or whatever. Of course, your, your feet are strapped together, so it is a little bit more challenging than swimming without a tail. So um, another thing to keep in mind when you're swimming in a mermaid tail, always swim with a buddy, never swim alone. Okay, so far so good. This tail feels like a propeller. It's heavy, but it gets you moving in the water. And swimming like a mermaid, or mermaiding as it's been dubbed, has exploded in popularity. Aqua Mermaid now operates in 10 locations across North America. Some people call it a sport, some people just say it's like a, a lifestyle or it's like their um, Mersona. There's a huge community online um, and there's tons of meetup groups worldwide as well. To become a mermaid yourself and realize all of your childhood dreams, visit aquamermaid.com. For the Weather Network, I'm Michelle Mackey. I could get used to this.